Hello, Linda here from Barefoot Healing and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how you can test your products are actually conducted um, and also to check whether your power points or power boards are actually earthed because I know a lot of people, uh, this worries them and uh, you know they come up to me at the shows or they ring me up and it is one of the concerns people have like how do I know my power points are earthed and how do I know my products are actually working because they're not electrical there's nothing on there to tell me that they're actually working so um, first of all just to let you know this is not necessary um, you don't have to do this um, and our little testers do come in all our starter packs and you can buy them all separately online um, but I must stress again, um, it is not absolutely necessary. It's only for the people that really like to test things, just want to know for certain that things are going, and that's fine. And by the way, I'm one of those people. <laughs> so uh, let's get on with it. So first of all, um, I suppose before you use your PowerPoints, you want to know the earth correctly um, or any power boards. But I've got to say, in Australia, um, all our power points in our homes, in our offices, and any buildings have to be earthed by law. So that is a law. Um, however, saying that, um, there are still a small amount of um, uh, problems that people have where they may have had, uh, you know, illegal renovations or um, power points that have come loose and they haven't been checked that may not have a good earth or may have become disconnected from the earth wire. So if in doubt, this little tool, it's called our socket tester, is a great little tester just to put your mind at ease that your power, power boards and power points are earth correctly. And I just have to let you know, I've been doing earthing now for six years and in that time, I think we've come across three that weren't earthed um, through my customers and one through myself. Um, now, one problem I had was the PowerPoint was loose where I was staying in a resort and when I, I took my tester with me and when I tested it, it just said it wasn't earthed so therefore I just didn't use that PowerPoint. Um, so little things like that it can help with. So basically all you have to do is find your power board or power point. Now I'm just using a power board because it's a bit hard to get down on the floor. Um, and uh, have it plugged in. This must be on, so your power must be on, or you must flick the switch on. So basically all you've got to do is pop it in to your power board or power point. If it's a power point, turn it on. And you'll see that the three orange lights are on there. Now those three orange lights mean everything's okay, your PowerPoint's fine, and uh, yep, go ahead and use your earthing products. Now, if one of those are off, there's a little legend up here that tells you what's wrong. It'll tell you there's no earth or there's no neutral um, or whatever. So if that happens, um, basically don't use that PowerPoint or power board. Um, and if it happens all throughout the house, unfortunately, you will have to use a dedicated ground rod um, that we can supply as well that runs under your door or out your window into the earth. Um, but if it does happen, I would certainly be getting my electrician out to check your wiring because it could, um, in the long run, um, very it could damage other electrical appliances or even damage you. So you don't want that happening. So... Just a little tool to have, um, as I said, not necessary, but if you're a checker and you like checking things, I, I really like it to check on my power boards I'm using because, you know, these can be laying around your house for years and these would be the most likely thing an earth wire could maybe become loose. Um, so therefore, you know, it'd be really good to check if you're using a lot of these around with your earthing products. So the second thing we're going to show you is people want to know are their products conductive. Um, you know, some people feel a little bit of tingling when they first start earthing, but over time that can go. Um, and they, you know, apart from them staying healthy and, um, you know, their, their problems not coming back, um, you know, there's no way of knowing that it's still all connected properly. And most people only find out that it's not connected properly or not conductive when their symptoms come back and they start to get pain or their sleep's not good, they go checking and then they find something's gone, uh, you know, they haven't connected their earthing sheet or their earthing sheet's just 
old run out of time and it's old and it's not working anymore with a product tester so this little gadget is a product tester and uh, it does uh, come with our starter packs, as we mentioned, or it can be bought um, separately on our website. So basically, um, I've got my universal mat here. And as I said, because I don't have access <laughs> to a PowerPoint down below, I'm just going to plug it into my power board. So as you can see, this power board is on its electrical, and I can plug it in there. There's no electricity used. Um, it's, it's safe and uh, my mat is now conductive. Now, but people go, mm, how, you know, it's plugged in, how do I know it's conductive? You know, I'm touching it, I don't really feel anything, how do I know it's working? Well, this little product tester um, will tell you that it is conductive and there is a current running through the earth, through to the mat. So basically, you plug that in to the other side of the plug, where you've got your product plugged in, so that could be um, your mat in my case at the office um, or a sheet on your bed um, you know and it's if that's you know but if you don't have access you can also use another plug and plug it in another um, electrical outlet to do the same thing so basically you put this on your mat and a green light will come on so I'll just move this out the way so you can see this when I put it up here that a green light is on when I'm pressing that down. So that means my mat is conductive and it's all working. So it's all fine. I know I'm getting the electron transfer coming through to me and my earthing mat is earthed. So the same thing happens with all our bedding. Uh, the same thing with the sheet. Uh, we'll just uh, connect the sheet, which I shall do here. Just to give you a quick look. And now I put it on the sheet, and you'll see the sheet is conductive. So that means the electrons are coming through all the conductive wires and the conductive silver, and it's coming through to you. Now, I'll show you with the silver pad because this is a common problem that many of my customers have, and they ring me up. So I'll just connect that. So we're all connecting our products. Everything, as we mentioned, has to go back to the earth. So what happens is um, you put this on your bed, and this is basically an underlay. It can be used on top of the sheet, but a lot of people use it as an underlay because they can use their, their standard, you know, lovely fitted sheets that they may have. So when I pop this on the silver pad, you'll see there that there's a green light, and we know it's conductive. But what happens is uh, when we get our sheet out and we put our sheet over the mat this is what people do they put their product tester on the sheet now the sheet is not conductive so nothing's going to come through we are the conductive ones up we are the conductor of of the electrons when we touch the silver so basically, we have to test us on the sheet. So you would press down with your hands, and I have to just build up a little bit of sweat here because uh, my hands are dry. Now this can take a couple of minutes, so we'll just see for this to come through and for me to, I'll just slightly dampen my fingers because I don't want to be waiting <laughs> all day. So you can see now that I'm touching and the product tester is on. So that means that the electrons are transferring through the silver pad through to my body. So again, if I put it just on the sheet that's touching, there's no green light. So we actually have to test ourselves for this one. And the best way is to put your hand on there and just put your uh, fingers, sorry, I'm just dampening my hand, put your fingers on the back. There's a little disc and the green light will come on. That is the best way to test. And as I said, um, if, if, you're, you know, if you haven't been on there and you want to test it and your fingers are a little bit dry, just basically, you know, just wet your fingers and that will quickly just, you know, that, that's what happens after you've been laying on the sheet. 
for you know five ten twenty minutes it just depends how much perspiration you have on your body and we all have it even though we think we don't um, we do have that perspiration that allows the transfer to come through so I hope that's helped you work out whether you need this little tester or not um, as I said it's not necessary but if you know if you you like testing and you like finding making sure your products are all connected I personally keep mine plugged in beside my bed so every time I uh, you know make my, uh, my make my bed up I just double check make sure the lights on because you know if a cord has come undone or a cord has been damaged by some reason you know your dog could have chewed through it or something's happened to it that light won't come on and that light will then tell you you know there's something wrong investigate because you don't want to get sick from not uh, sleeping on your earthing sheet and after that two weeks if you're not earthed those symptoms will come back again so I hope that's helped you um, and if you have any more questions please give our office a call um, or email us and uh, we'll gladly uh, be available to help you okay bye for now